you know, a teachable moment here, and many of them on the program that we are loaded. But have you noticed how the uh, the media and Democrats are going nuts over Jamie Dimon and and the, what was it two billion dollar two billion dollar trade loss at at, uh, at J P Morgan Chase? You know, I really do believe because capitalism has not been taught. So many people do not understand that winning and losing is part of the deal. When you have freedom, winning and losing is part of the deal. J.P. Morgan Chase still made a profit despite the two billion dollar loss uh, in that in that one unit. But everybody now wants to get rid of Diamond, and they want more regulation. And this all happened after Dodd Frank. This all happened after a bunch of brand new federal regulation. But I really think that what this shows is that that people of a certain age don't understand that in freedom you win and lose. And when you lose, you come back. You try again. But so many people in our culture seem to want to take any chance of loss out of the equation, even if it means that everybody is simply living a life of mediocrity, that there is no excellence. Because you can't get to excellence without failure along the way. And failure simply doesn't want to be tolerated. The moment there is failure in an institution or in an individual, here comes a bunch of leftists saying, well, we got to get the government involved. And you, I know people say, well, they, don't, they haven't done it in, in sports. They are doing it in sports. They are doing it in the National Football League. That's what this really is all about when you get down to brass tacks. And one of the reasons that sports is uh, is 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 in some disfavor right now because it is totally merit based, and there are wins and losses, and there's personal failure, uh, and there's recovery, redemption, and triumph, and all these things that are part of freedom that people want to take out of the equation now, as though somehow it's 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 uh, intolerable, unaccepted because of the pain and suffering and, and the and the risk, and the idea that life can be so, uh, painless. The idea that life can, can exist without suffering is, is ridiculous. It's absurd, but there are people with those motivations, and they do not have one foot, one toe grounded uh, in reality. In my case, I mean, you would never make it to the Hall of Fame if you're afraid of failure.